wow, friends, you found so many different combinations of 10. I wanted to share with you the combinations that you found, but there were so many, I had to take off my chart paper. I'm just going to use my whole board. So let's see some of the different combinations that you thought of for my sticky notes. If there are 10 sticky notes and some are pink and some are yellow, what might that look like? Well, one combination that people said, and you know what, I'm gonna write that number up here so we can remember we're talking about the number 10. Because there always has to be how many sticky notes? 10. So some people said there could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. What do you notice about my 10 sticky notes? They are all pink. There might be 10 pink sticky notes. So how many yellow were there? Zero, that's right. This time, if you want, you could use your cubes or counters to make show this with me. Here's another combination that someone said. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pink sticky notes, and one yellow sticky note. Are there still 10? Yes, there are. Is it a different combination? Yes, it is. But guess what? Someone else told me another combination. Watch this one. For the pink, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pink sticky notes. And then they had one, two yellow sticky notes. Does that still make 10 sticky notes? Mm -hmm. Are there groups of pink and yellow? Sure thing. But guess what? There was still another way that someone showed this. Ready? They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pink sticky notes, and then the rest were yellow. There was one, two, three. Are you starting to notice anything about how these sticky notes look? I wanna go back and I'm gonna write some numbers. So over here, I'm gonna write how many pink ones there are. In the top row, how many pink ones were there? There were 10, you got it. Were there any yellow sticky notes? No, so I'm gonna write the number zero here. Okay, in the second row, how many pink sticky notes were there? There were nine. How many yellow? One. What about the next row? There were eight pink and two yellow. Then, the last one we did, there were seven pink and three yellow. Do you notice anything about these rows of colored sticky notes or the numbers? I'm starting to notice something. I wonder if you do. Let's do another one. Another combination that someone said was one, two, three, 
four, five, six pink sticky notes. And one, two, three, four, yellow. So let's add those numbers. This row is six pink and four yellow. So have you noticed what's happening? Each time I'm changing one of the sticky notes to be a different color. I started with all of them as pink, 10, and then I changed one to be yellow. This row I changed two then three, then four. What do you notice about the numbers over here? They started at 10 and they're going down. What do you notice about the numbers over here? They started at zero and they're going up. Can you figure out what the numbers are going to be? We're gonna do one more row because I know you're starting to notice this. How many pink ones are gonna be on this, in this row? One, say it out loud, tell me. Two, tell me when to stop. Three, four, five. That's right, I'm gonna stop because I have one less, it's going down, five pink. And then how many yellow are there going to be? One, two, three, four, five, yellow. You got it. So now five and five. These are all combinations to make the number 10. But when we line them up this way, we can start to notice patterns and see when this group gets bigger, this group is smaller. As this group gets bigger or has more, this group is getting smaller.